Hey guys, welcome back to Do It On A Dime with Catherine, and in today's video, we are talking all about the pool noodle. It is the end of summer, so you may be seeing a bunch of these pushed to the front of the Dollar Tree. And today, I'm gonna show you some super easy hacks. Not the stuff that you see on Pinterest that you're like, I would never actually do that in real life, but the stuff that's actually going to help make you more organized or make your life easier. So I hope you guys enjoy. First up are my absolute favorite ways to organize using pool noodles. Now the best way to cut these, I think, is with a good sharp kitchen knife. Cut your pool noodle down to size and add one slit, and this is perfect for organizing your cords, cell phone chargers, I'm sure you have a box of those. And I use the same method to add a pool noodle to my hangers so my clothes don't slip off or get a crease in them. If brooms and mops drive you crazy, you will love this next hack. Cut off the back of the pool noodle just enough so you're left with a flat surface. And then add slits into the noodle for as many cleaning tools as you have. At the top end of the slit, cut out a triangle because this is where the brooms and your cleaners will sit. Attach this to the inside of your closet using double-sided Velcro, double-sided tape, or even glue if it's a utility closet. Also, this trick is really old, but I still had to show it because I've used it for years and years, putting poo noodles in your boots so they don't fall over. Up next are quick fixes that are game changers at our house. Cut a pool noodle in half and add double-sided tape or Velcro to the back to create a bumper. Our kitchen cabinet was getting so beat up, and I know this is not gorgeous in the house, but it's only for a limited time. You could even do this in the garage if a door is constantly opening on something. We love it. We also have used, for almost a year now, pool noodles at the top of the kids' doors, so there are no more pinched fingers. When potting a plant, add some cut up pool noodle to the bottom of the pot. It will help with drainage and you get to use less soil. No one will ever know. Now is the time to stock up on your noodles for the holiday season because you won't be able to find them in a few months. I'm just using a Dollar Tree garland and wrapping it all the way around to create a gorgeous wreath. This was done on such a budget and you could customize it for any season. And you can use pool noodles for pool noodles. This is a Dollar Tree $1 little chair. We thought this was the coolest thing, so Carson and I purchased it, and we've been loving this at the pool. You wanna get the bigger pool noodles for this because it helps you float better, but this is such a way to enjoy the end of summer. Which of these tips are you gonna try? Definitely leave me a comment down below, and let me know your favorite pool noodle hacks, because I love learning from you guys. If you like Dollar Tree tips and hacks, definitely leave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so I can catch you in the next one. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye. Why did I want these in the shot? <laughs> I think I may have bought too many pool noodles, but they were only a dollar. They were one dollar. Okay. <laughs> I think we found a good use for all these extra pool noodles. 